All right, so we're back here at a big piano. Uh, what we basically are gonna talk about next is damper leaking. And reasons a damper would leak is simply because the felt is not sitting on this string evenly. It's not contacting evenly. And so usually that can happen with a number of reasons. Very commonly, uh, the felt has uh, been either installed incorrectly or even uh, during the tuning process, like especially here where we have the, the wedges, part of the felt could have been crushed by a tuning mute or something, or just, you know, simple wear. A lot of things happen. So right here we have a tricky one, which is right here on this very edge. So this right string here is vibrating and singing out just a little bit. So we're gonna see if we can improve that. So the first thing we need to check is our string level and make sure we have a good level string. And already I'm seeing that our gauge is showing that the string, this side of the string is kind of low. So we're gonna take our string hook and bring that up just a hair very carefully. We don't want any stress that's not needed on the, uh, on the uh, A-graph, but always when you level strings, bring up those dampers, get them out of the way, don't crush the felt. Try this one as well. And again, and notice I'm not attacking one spot because I don't want to kink the wire. So you can even take it and scoot the hook across the string like that. See it and we'll test it. And it's now it's getting more in between the uh, two lines of the gauge. So I'm okay with that. And now let's test by plucking to see if we have any uh, less lead through. And we have an improvement. But it still could use just a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is come again with this string hook. And that feels even better. Pluck it. It's even better. So next, what I'm going to do is pull out the damper and inspect the felt and see if we've got one side of the felt that is uneven. So what we've got here, we look, looks pretty even. There's plenty of space in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm also going to use my gauge here. This is just cardstock with lines drawn in it at angles. I'm going to make sure that my angle matches up. It kind of bows a little bit here. And then we have a pretty straight angle like that. It's pretty close. So I'm going to try putting just a little extra bend there just to see if I can straighten it up. Check it. That looks better to me. This other line is when I'm installing a new set of dampers, I will cross a line here and across a line there. So I know from damper wire to damper wire to where to keep my bends evenly spaced. I'm going to put this back in. Set it down. I'm going to need my weight. Thank you. 
put my weight there on top of it, grab my block of wood. I'm going to take it, lift it up to its neighbors so it's nice and even. Tighten. And then check it to see if it's rising correctly. If it's turning as uh, I lift up, then I would need to take my pliers, come in and turn from side to side to make sure that it's lifting correctly. And then check it. So it's still leaking on the right string. So what that's telling me is that I need to take the pliers. We have these damper pliers and I'm going to give a light squeeze on this side of the damper to thin down that felt just so slightly. I'm not trying to crush the felt, I'm just trying to compress it so slightly so this side of the felt can sit deeper into the strings. And then put everything back together. Screwdriver and my block of wood. Put weight on top of the damper. Tighten it. We will check it. It needs to be corrected just a little bit in a turn. And we will see if that worked for us. I think that's an improvement.